Hello and welcome. My name is Tony and I'm here with the Everyday Counts program. Thank you so much for joining me. We have an hour together for chair yoga. So whether this is your first time or um, whether you've been doing this with me for a while, I'm so happy that you chose to take the time. This is a video, so you can stop it at any time. You can pause it, take a little bit more time, or if you're done at any point, but I'm still teaching because the class isn't done, then feel free to honor your body. Know what you need, and if rest is what you need, or you want to come back to something, then please go ahead. There is no wrong way to do chair yoga or any kind of yoga. So listening to yourself is the most important thing never defer to me if i'm guiding something that doesn't feel right to you then trust that your body is telling you what you need so if you need to rest if you need to adjust something or adapt it for it to feel comfortable in your body then please go ahead make sure the chair you're on is stable and comfortable and I encourage you to sit a little bit away from the back of your chair, even if it's a millimeter or so. That way we um, have the opportunity of supporting our own spine. Now you can sit back into that support whenever you need to. But the more we support our spine, the more we strengthen through the core, the more we um, find that stabilization from within rather than without. And the more we do this, even in our everyday life, so when you're sitting having breakfast rather than sitting into the back of your chair, um, sitting away from the back of your chair is gonna start to, any amount of time that you do that is gonna start to strengthen your core of, of your whole body. And we strengthen the core, we help our posture, we build our awareness, there's so many benefits to it. We have good posture or better posture, and then our organs have more more space to do what it is that they need to do. For example, if a lot of us are sitting forward because most of what we do is in the front plane of our body, we eat, we talk to people, we read, we drive, everything is in the front part of the body, so we tend to start moving forward. With this, and we get a kind of collapsing through the chest, a rounding through the shoulders, and then if you Think about the fact that your heart is right here in your lungs. If you're folded forward somewhat, then they don't have quite so much space as they could. If you bring your shoulders back and down, and we have this broadness across the chest. So posture helps in all kinds of different ways. It also helps our mood. It has been um, tracked and in different studies that simply sitting with your shoulders back and um, as we would say in yoga in mountain pose or seated mountain pose um, where we're rooting to rise and we have this openness across the chest just two minutes of that elevates the mood so um, there's all kinds of things that are going on there so that's what we're going to be paying attention to as we move forward Feet at a comfortable distance for you. And we're all put together differently. Our bodies are all different. So make sure that the comfort is for your body and you're not just trying to emulate what you think is right because there is no right way to do this. And there's only your way. Rooting down through the feet. So spreading those toes wide, you can even pick up the balls of the feet if you like, if your feet a little wiggle, noticing maybe for the first time today, your feet and all they do for you, and then sending the toes all the way down to the earth with, the, with them fanned out. Connecting down into the earth, you can even give it a little push down if you like. You might notice a lot of the muscles in your legs start to activate when you do that. And then release any pressure. Wiggling from side to side in your chair as you do that, you might notice the two bony bits kind of underneath you that you notice through your seat. That's the base of your pelvis. And we'll do the same thing here, settling that in, sitting deeply into the chair. Take a breath in. 
And on the exhale, really settle into that support underneath you. So allow your lower body pelvis down to get nice and heavy and rooted. Nice. And then when you're ready, consider lifting up through the spine as if each vertebrae could just get a little bit of space between them all the way up through the base of the skull, the crown of the head is reaching towards the sky. Notice whether your shoulders need to come forward a little bit or back a little bit so they're more or less stacked over your hips. Rolling the shoulders back and down and then allowing the shoulders to sit downward softly away from the ears. And we broaden across the collarbone so we get that, uh, that wide upper body. And simply being here for a lot of us may feel very different to how we normally sit. So just get comfortable and familiar with it. Keeping the shape. Take a big breath in. And on the exhale, adjust and soften the posture so it feels sustainable to you. And take another few breaths like that so we invite in a feeling of softness through the body. Just with that awareness exercise of how our body is in space, and how it feels for us inside. It's a great thing to do a couple of times a day just to notice your posture and notice how it is that you're holding yourself in space. We'll take a big breath in, exhale it out, soften your gaze or close your eyes and turn inwards. Notice how it is that you're feeling today. If you've got a lot on your mind, if there are situations, or concerns that are really in the forefront for you today. Notice without judgment, without needing it to go away. What we tend to resist persists, so welcoming it all in. Notice if there are a lot of emotions present. Without judgment, just with a curiosity. And then notice how your physical body is feeling. And a great way to do this is to take your awareness to the crown of your head and slowly sweep your awareness down through your body, noticing places that your awareness is drawn to, maybe some tightness and tension, some discomfort, all the way down without stories, without, oh, my knee is um, loud because of, that's the story we attach to it. Just notice, huh, I have sensation in my knee and continue the journey down to the soles of your feet. And we'll take that awareness all the way up to the crown of your head when you're done. And then we'll do the same scan, but notice the quieter places. Notice the ease. Notice the places that feel strong. All the way down to the soles of your feet once again. So we start to cultivate a practice of not just noticing what's quote unquote wrong or loud for us, but also noticing um, um, the whole range of sensation. We tend to only notice what is bothering us. So we start to set in motion a different mind set. So now, gently bringing your awareness to your breath. Breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. And if this breath doesn't suit you, then you can just ignore me and come to your own comfortable breath. And then I'm going to ask you with those exhales to imagine you have a mirror or a plane, like a window right in front of you, as if you were fogging up that mirror or that glass with a on the exhale. And keeping that exhale steady and smooth, not so much that you're really forcing it, but that if you, if I asked you to, you could stay there and just keep that breath going, that 
on the exhale. Listen to the sound of that exhale from the top of the exhale all the way down to the bottom of that. So this is a little bit of effort there. And listen to the sound of the breath. Smooth that exhale as best as you can. You might even notice at the end of the breath, your belly button kind of draws in and upwards as the diaphragm draws up um, to push the air out of the bottom of your lungs. Again, not so much so that you're forcing, and if at any point this feels uncomfortable, then just let it go. We're gonna keep that breath, listening to the sound of that exhale only it's gonna get quieter when we bring the lips together. Now we're breathing in and out through the mouth with that same length of the exhale. So instead of, it's a quieter, there's a slight constriction at the back of the throat to get that sound, that ujjayi breath. And we're just focusing on the ujjayi exhale or ocean exhale. Keep that breath going, but if there's any excess forcing, then just let the breath soften. So if I asked you to be here for an hour breathing this breath, it feels like you could. If there's too much forcing, then it's going to feel like you can't keep that breath up. So bring it to a, a place where it feels sustainable. And it's a little bit louder than our normal breathing, but the whole room couldn't hear you. If somebody was right next to you, they could probably hear it, but if they were a little ways off from you, they couldn't. So it's not that we're trying to allow um, the whole room to share that sound. It's really about focusing your mind and getting that steadiness with the exhale. The exhale is in charge of our relaxation response. And again, be honest with yourself. If you feel like you're stressing the sound too much or the breath too much, please step back from that a little. Allow it to be soft. And that's the breath we'll use for the practice. And it's called Ujjayi breath or ocean breath because it sounds like the waves coming in and out on the shore of the ocean. And we're rooting down, feet in seat, and rising from there. Once again, roll the shoulders back and down, broaden through the collarbones. Ujjayi exhales. This is the inhale and the exhale. I'm gonna send that right ear towards the right shoulder. Inhaling up, ujjayi exhale, left ear, left shoulder. So we're moving with the breath. Allow the movement to be almost lazy, guided by the length of your breath. We're not pushing into that exhale. Option to keep going side to side. Option, next time that right ear comes to the right shoulder on that ocean exhale, we're gonna keep it there. Option to stay there, option to slide the chin over the right shoulder as if you're glancing down towards the floor. And the last add-on here. If you want extra sensation in the left side of the neck is to dangle that left hand down so the shoulder gets a little heavier. Ocean exhales, three breaths here. Feel free to soften the gaze, close the eyes. Stay for that last exhale. Left hand comes back to support and the chin lifts and comes back to center. And we'll just take the head from side to side, ocean exhales. And then the next time the left ear comes towards the left shoulder, we keep it there. 
on this maybe enough sensation through the right side of the neck here if you want to add on the chin can drop down towards that left shoulder any amount as if you could glance off towards the floor if you want to add sensation softening and dropping that left or right arm down three ocean exhales soften the gaze lower the gaze close the eyes Go inwards for the last breath here. And then when you're ready, right hand comes back to support. We'll bring the head back up to center and just take it side to side. Nicely done. Ocean exhales, coming back to center, dropping both arms down now, wide through the collarbones and we're circling through both shoulders. Inhaling up, exhaling down. Mm -hmm. Allowing that movement to be gentle and following that ocean exhale. And then we'll pause when you're ready and take that round in the opposite direction. Mm -hmm. Noticing where you feel this in your body, slowing the movement to be guided by the breath. And then at the end of that exhale, we'll pause and bring everything back to center. Turning the palms up. On the inhale, we'll raise from the elbows all the way up, hands coming between. Uh, towards the heart and exhaling back down. Inhaling so small circles, bringing the hands to the heart. Keeping those collarbones wide, ocean exhales as the hands descend. Option to stay here, option to start to move from the shoulders so the arms get a little higher, maybe the hands come further up, that ocean exhale, sweeping the arms down. Bigger is and better here, so we're following the breath. And the option is to reach, hands can come all the way up above, exhale, descending the hands through the center line of the body. Getting that rotation through the shoulders, keeping the spine neutral so those front ribs are drawn in. Nicely done. You can stay here, circling through the breath, or next time we bring those hands up, we're going to keep them there. Take the hands in towards each other, palms um, in towards each other, or interlace the hands, letting your first fingers um, draw up towards the ceiling. More bend in the elbow, it's going to be easier in the shoulders. The more you um, straighten through the elbows, the more crunchy it gets through the shoulders, so you decide. Front ribs drawn in, ocean exhales. Any numbness or tingling in the fingers, you're going to bend those elbows. You can even take the hands to the top of your head, or um, if the tingling persists, then you're bringing your hands down. Otherwise, this is the inhale and the exhale. We're going to reach off to one side, ocean exhales, inhaling back up to center, and over to the other side. And again, this can look any way that suits your body. We're starting to get that length through the center line and through the lateral spine. One more either side. Take your time. Ocean exhales. And when you're ready, Come back to center and drift those hands down. Any movement through the shoulders to ease any tension that may have built up. And then hands come back to support. If you're sitting all the way back into your chair, coming into seated cat and cow, I highly recommend coming away from the back of the chair so you have a little bit more space to move. 
rooting to rise, readjusting your posture, coming back to that ocean exhale. And on the inhale, as the hands come towards the pelvis, elbows draw back and we open up through the heart. On the exhale, fingertips come towards or on the knees as we sit back into the back of the pelvis. On the inhale, you can lift the chin as long as the breath feels okay and smooth. Exhale, chin drops down towards the chest any amount. And we're moving with the breath. So there's very little stillness here. The entire inhale brings the heart forward. The entire exhale brings the back of the heart towards the back of the chair. Notice as you're doing this, where you feel this primarily in your body if there's any adjustments you need to make you can get your feet involved on the inhale imagine dragging your heels back towards the chair on the exhale pushing the toes away from you not that the feet are going to move use as much or as little pressure as feels good for you and then you kind of wake up the lower body as well with this movement Got another three breaths to go. Allow yourself the freedom to switch, change, adapt anything. More or less the last breath, stay for that last ocean exhale. And then we're coming all the way back up to center, rooting to rise. From here, we're going to take those hands and clasp them behind the head, the kind of lumpy bit, the occipital lobe behind you. Cup that with the back of your, uh, with your, the palms of your hands, and then sit the base of your skull into the palms of your hands. The softer the elbows are and more forward, the easier it will be in your shoulders. Again, any numbness and tingling as you bring the hands above the heart. If um, that's happening to you, then you're going to sit this one out. On the inhale, we're going to draw those elbows wide. Soften the shoulders back and down so they're not crunching up towards your ears. That's the inhale. On the exhale, we're drawing the elbows in towards each other. Inhaling wide, exhaling together. Mm -hmm. With the support of your hands, on the inhale, lifting the skull up, so we're opening up through the upper chest, so it's not unlike cat and cow, lifting the chin, but your head is supported fully by your hands. And on the exhale, chin down towards the chest, and we're really getting into the upper shoulders and the upper back, inhaling and exhaling. The hands are supporting the weight of the head, so this really is kind of from the thoracic spine and up. Your lower back is steady and smooth. Ocean exhales. You got another two breaths to go. Staying for the last exhale. Coming all the way back to center and allowing those arms to come down. And give those arms a little bit of um, easy movement, any intuitive movement at all. Coming into a twist now. So we're gonna take that left elbow and towards your wrist, make a soft fist with that left hand. And on the inhale, you know, reach that hand forward, turn the knuckles towards the sky and reaching in front of you. Like there's something really interesting there. Right hand is supported or it can dangle down. On the exhale, we're gonna draw the elbow back in towards the ribs and back beside us. So that left shoulder's coming back. On the inhale, we're reaching forward. And on the exhale, we're reaching back. So we're getting a slight twist here. Inhaling and exhaling. Now watch, excuse me, watch my right shoulder. On the inhale, the right shoulder comes back as the left comes forward. And on the exhale, as I draw the left elbow back, the right shoulder naturally comes forward. Option to stay here. From the pelvis downwards, everything's steady and rooted. 
So the twist is really coming from the upper body. Option to start to reach that left hand over to the right, take the gaze with you, and the gaze can come over that left shoulder, bringing the twist all the way up through the cervical spine and neck. And again, your sit bones are rooted, your feet are not doing anything other than being rooted. We've got another three to go. Rest if you need to. Notice where the most challenging place is for you and keep those ocean exhales going. One more. And no rush. But when you're ready, we're coming back to center again any movement you need to soften any tension go ahead and we're coming to the other side so that right elbow draws in soft fist on the inhale knuckles turn up as we're taking our fingertips out in front of us left shoulder comes back on the exhale elbow comes back and we turn towards the right doesn't have to be a big movement but what we want is the smoothness and noticing what's happening in your body, noticing how you experience this twist. Option to add on, we reach the right hand towards the left and gaze over that right shoulder. Stay with those ocean exhales, you've got two more breaths to go. And then we're coming all the way back to center. Any intuitive movement you need, go ahead. And from there, we're taking the feet a little wider. If you need more support, slide to the back of your chair. If you need less support, coming forward. Hands resting on the top of the thighs and we're rooting down, feet in seat, to rise up. And if you feel like you're not steady here, then please adjust your body to make sure that you feel like you're supported. Those mid ribs now, we're gonna to start to circle through the mid ribs. Barrel rolls. Allow this movement to be easy and fluid, as fluid as you can make it. I highly recommend if you feel stable enough to close your eyes, go inside, ocean exhales. And you'll notice those exhales as you come back, belly draws in and up to push that air out and it enhances that scoop of the belly as you come round and back. There's a lot of control here in this movement, a lot of core that is activated to allow this to be as smooth as possible. And if you're wondering, if you're saying to yourself that it's not so smooth in your body, that's why we're doing this. It is a practice. And of course, the more we do it, the easier it becomes. We've got two more in this direction. You can always rest. And then when you're ready, the end of that exhale will pause and come around in the opposite direction. Ocean exhales. Listen to the steadiness of your breath here. We've got another two in this direction unless you're resting. At the end of that exhale, we'll pause and come all the way back to center, rooting to rise. Steady the breath if it's become elevated, ocean exhale. From here, bend through the right elbow. On the inhale, we're gonna open out the arms. So the shoulder blade comes back behind you towards the spine, that's the inhale. On the exhale, keeping a neutral spine, we'll tap those right fingertips towards the inner um, left groin, inhaling and exhaling. So the isolation really is in the shoulder here. 
this is a great place to be if you want to add on. On the inhale, you're going to start to take your heart with you. So there's a slight twist here. Everything from the pelvis down doesn't move. You can take the gaze with you. And on the exhale, belly scoops in and we tap towards the inner thigh or knee. So there's a rounding here. Inhaling, we've got this extension through the spine on the exhale. There's a flexion as we curl that belly in. Option to stay here. If you want to add on, on the inhale, we're reaching up and back with the right arm. Take the gaze with you. Got more extension across the pectorials through the chest here. On the exhale, tapping down towards the inner knee, maybe even the inner shin. And we have this diagonal um, opening from the right fingertips all the way through. And then on the exhale, across the back body. So across the right shoulder, all the way down. Take the gaze with you. Adjust this for your own body. So you're working with your body, not against it. You've still got those ocean exhales. Lifting up the chest on the inhale and caving in the chest as the back body expands on the exhale. We've got another three here. Resting if you prefer. Nicely done. Coming all the way back to center. Any movements you need to release tension, go ahead. Same thing, other side. So readjusting yourself if you need to. That left elbow bends, and on the inhale, is simply taking the left hand out towards the side. That's the inhale. On the exhale, keeping the spine neutral, bringing the left hand towards the inner right groin. And it's a great place to be, especially if you've got fatigue in the shoulders. Then this is where we stay, just getting that range of motion. If you're wanting to add on, we start to take the heart with us as we open up and twisting towards the right side on that exhale, ocean exhale. Notice how you experience that in your body. And that add on is reaching up and back with the left arm, gaze comes with you. On the exhale, belly comes in towards the spine, tapping towards the inner knee, even inner shin, depending on the length of your bones and range of motion. Notice how this feels in your body, only working within the breath. If you're holding your breath at any point, please do less. Come back to that steady ocean exhale. Make this your own for the last three. You can adjust, adapt it. You can rest. Last one. And then we're coming all the way back up to center, keeping ourselves in external rotation through the legs, rooting to rise. Fingertips come towards the inside of the thighs here. This is the inhale. On the exhale, we're dipping the right shoulder down and turning towards the left. You can even gaze over that left shoulder as we're leaning forward and down. Inhaling, shoulders come back over the hips. Exhaling, right shoulder is coming forward and down. We're pushing with the right hand through the right thigh to get that um, dynamic tension through the back body, especially on the right side. Notice how you experience this. Adjust the movement for you. We've got another three on the side. Again, glancing over that left shoulder if you want to bring it all the way up through the neck. Stay for one last exhale. Coming all the way back to center. And now that left shoulder dips down and forward. Left hand is pushing through that left thigh. And getting length on that left side. You might notice it in different areas too. Always adjusting, giving yourself permission 
to change things up. Ocean exhale. And we've got another three breaths. Staying for the last one, whenever that is for you. And coming all the way up from that external rotation. We're gonna take those feet back in towards each other, parallel-ish. And then we're gonna wash those knees from side to side, releasing any tension through the hips. Mm -hmm. You can take the upper body away from the knees, getting that twist through the spine. And then when you're ready, coming back to center, reestablish, rooting to rise, steady the breath, those ocean exhales. That constriction at the back of the throat, the swoosh of that slow, steady exhale all the way down to the bottom of the breath as the belly comes in and up. Not so much so that it's a forcing, let go of any forcing, allow it to be sustainable, allow it to regulate itself, regulate your central nervous system. And the option is to stay here in the chair, or I will meet the rest of you down on the floor for the last part of our um, class and making sure that you have everything you need for your relaxation. You can of course pause this video, make your way to where you want to be, and I will see you down on the earth. Once you're down on the floor, we're gonna come all the way to our back, making sure you have any softness you need underneath you. Knees to the sky, feet to the floor. And then when you're ready, picking up your pelvis, lengthening through the lower back and sending your sit bones a little closer towards your heels. If you need any extra support underneath your head, like a folded blanket, please take it. And then take a big breath in. Exhale it out. Soften the gaze or close the eyes and come back to that ujjayi exhale, that ocean exhale. Breathing in and out through the nose. And you might notice with gravity now on the earth, that exhale, the belly kind of scoops in and as the diaphragm pushes up, pushing the air out gently, steadily. And then from here, you're going to draw that right knee in towards you, give yourself a little hug, and then circling through that ankle in one direction, nice and slow, ujjayi exhale, that ocean exhale. And then we'll take the circles of the ankle around in the opposite direction. Coming back to stillness, a flex in that ankle that is soft hand, right hand to the right knee, left arm and a cactus or a T. We'll take the right knee up towards the sky so the right arm is lengthened. And then we're gonna circle through that knee. Keep it nice and steady and smooth. Option to stay here. You can wing that left knee out towards the side if that helps you get a bigger range of motion. The right hand does not have to guide that knee, so you can always take the um, arms in a cactus or a T. And the last option here is to extend that left leg long. Both feet are flexed, and we're circling through the knee, which really is circling through the hip joint as big or small uh, movements as feel good for you, that ocean exhale is guiding you. And then when you're ready, we'll take a pause and take those circles around in the opposite direction. Noticing the range of motion in your hip without judgment 
try and smooth the movement out, noticing if you're um, speeding up or slowing down through some areas and try and keep that circle steady and smooth. Allow your body to move easily, as fluidly as possible. And then we'll draw that right knee in towards your chest once more. If that left leg is long, we're gonna plant that left foot again. So the knee is to the sky, coming into a figure four here. Outside edge of that right ankle, coming on top of the left thigh, we've got a figure four. The further away your left heel is, the easier it's going to be in that right hip. And the opposite is true. So the closer you draw your left heel to your seat, the more challenging it's going to be in that right hip. Great place to be right here. And we wing that right knee out uh, to the side and away from us. Not so much so that we tilt the pelvis so that um, the back of the pelvis is rooted to the earth so that the left hip doesn't lift up towards your ribs. Option to stay here if you want to add on, drawing that left thigh in towards your chest, taking hold of the thigh underneath the knee or threading the hands through that figure four. So we've got to thread the needle. Both feet are flexed here, spreading the toes wide and breathing. Breathing into that right hip. Inhaling and exhaling. Ocean exhales. Great place to stay. If you want to add on into a little core here, keeping the legs exactly where they are, release the hands. Push the right ankle into the left thigh. Left thigh pushes back and we draw the left thigh up to vertical. So we've got the shape here, but the hands are relaxed and easy. You can lift the left heel up to knee height. That's gonna add on as we add weight and we breathe. Wherever you are, we've got three breaths, ujjayi exhales, ocean exhales, all the way to the end of your breath. Only as much pressure the left thigh into the right ankle, right ankle into the left thigh, as much as the breath will sustain. Got one more breath. And then on that exhale, we'll take that left foot down to the floor. Left foot down to the floor. Option to stay here. Option to pick your hips up, send the hips to the right. And slide that right leg over the left. Any support you may need, a bolster, a pillow on that left side as you send the knees to the left. Right hip lifts up towards the sky, right shoulder is rooted and grounded and we get that deep opening through that right hip once again. Any other twist you want to do, go ahead. And the gaze comes over that right shoulder if the right shoulder is grounded. Take some nice deep full belly breaths here. And ujjayi exhales. And so on the inhale that belly expands like a balloon inflating. And allowing that breath to be guided out with that ocean exhale. There's tension anywhere in your body, especially your hip. You might notice odd tensions in your legs. See if you can soften that out. Always adjusting, adapting for your body. Stay for the last exhale or as long as you like there. Gaze comes to center if it was off to the right. Knees draw up to center. Unbind and then take the hips back to a central place. Left knee draws in, give yourself a little hug, and then we circle through the ankle one direction. And the opposite direction, come back to that ocean exhale, listen to the sound of the exhale. The 
at the end of your next breath, we'll come back to stillness, left hand to left knee and the knee draws up towards the sky. Flex in the ankle and we circle through that knee, drawing circles in the air. Option to send that right knee out towards the side or lengthening that leg. And the option of course is that you may not need the support of that left hand on the left knee. Ocean exhales. Notice how you experience this in your body. So we're just circling through really the hip joint, making it as fluid as possible. And then we'll pause and take that round in the opposite direction when you're ready. Bigger isn't better here. What we want is fluidity. We want the control of the movement, the steadiness, the stability through the hip and that fluidity of the spine moving with you, especially that as the pelvis rolls. Mm -hmm. And then that last exhale, we're drawing the knee in towards the chest. If that right leg was long, knee comes to the sky, foot to the floor coming into figure four. So left ankle over the top of that right thigh, pushing with the musculature of your body, that left knee out towards the side and away from you, only as much as the pelvis is neutral. So if you're pushing so far that the right hip shifts up towards your ribs, then you're going too far. The pelvis is neutral here. Nice flex in that left ankle, toes spread wide, option to stay, adjusting that right heel away from you or closer towards you. And the option is to draw that right thigh towards you and take hold of wherever feels comfortable for you, both feet flexed if both feet are lifted. Breathing into that left hip steady and smooth with the breath. Notice what you experience here. And this is a great place to stay. If you want to add on, bring some strength into the core, then release the hands down to a T or a cactus, pushing that left ankle into the right thigh. The right thigh comes back into the left ankle, bringing the shape a little bit up towards the ceiling. Option to elevate that right ankle up to um, knee height, and that's going to add pressure. Only as much pressure as feels good and sustains the breath here. So if you're holding yourself here, but the breath is holding too, then do less. You've got three breaths here, wherever you are. Being honest with yourself, noticing how your breath is. Staying for the last exhale. And when you're ready, that right foot is coming down to the floor. Pick up your hips, shift them off towards the left side, and then slide the left thigh over the right. If there's another twist that suits your body better, please go ahead. Take any props you need over to the left or the right side, excuse me, and then the knees drift towards the right any amount. Left hip lifts, left shoulder is grounded. And we're taking some belly breaths here. Big breaths into the belly, expanding. On that exhale, softening and letting go. Gaze comes towards the left. And once you're here, if there's small or big adjustments you want to make, changes, different twists that feel better in your body, please listen to yourself over me always. You are the expert of your body. The breath will guide you. If the breath is steady, those ocean exhales, then everything should be okay. The breath is stilted or hard or not fluid, and you might want to always consider coming out or adjusting something. Got another couple of breaths here. Melting and softening any hardness. And then when you're ready, gaze comes to center, knees come to center. If you had a bind, we will unbind the legs. 
take the pelvis back to neutral and then any last movements here maybe drawing your knees in towards your chest giving yourself a little hug a little rock and roll from side to side maybe there's a few breaths in happy baby your happy baby maybe the knees just go wide towards the um, armpits keeping the heels towards the seat maybe the heels come up towards the ceiling in stillness and movement or any other movement that feels really good to you there is no wrong or right way here and then when you're ready coming to your version of relaxation maybe the knees still stay to the ceiling heels go wide and we've got extended um, relaxation here or Taking yourself into a starfish position, you can take a bolster or a pillow underneath your knees if there is some other shape you wish to come to for relaxation, please go ahead. Otherwise, settling in and settling down. extra layers, eye pillows, anything at all that can add to your comfort. And then take a big, beautiful breath in. Hold at the top of the breath, relax the body, and let the breath go. Two or three more breaths just like that. Inhaling, hold, relax, and release the breath. Notice the support underneath you on those exhales and allow your body to settle into that support, melting like soft, warm candle wax. And then let the breath go entirely. As you allow your bones to get 10 times heavier than they've ever been before, as they connect down to the earth. And as the bones get heavier, the joints find space and ease within them. Allowing your inner organs to release tension from around them. Giving permission for your muscles to lengthen and loosen. Especially the muscles of your face, allowing your face to feel as neutral as possible. Allowing your skin to soften in areas that it feels pinched or tight. And then imagine as if somebody looking at you was trying to distinguish whether you were awake or asleep and allow your body, your face, and everything within your body to give the impression that you are sound asleep. Allowing your body to fully and easily find relaxation. Noticing different little areas, pockets of tension and tightness. And allowing softness to enter those locations bit by bit. As if you were looking down at yourself and you couldn't detect whether you were awake or asleep. breath 
to be as easy as possible each exhale noticing that you relax even more with every breath bit by bit by bit Allow the mind also to soften, the thoughts to come and go like soft breezes. Feel the thoughts arise and feel them pass on by. self-conscious rest. If your thoughts gather with a direction, notice without judgment, with a simple chuckle of curiosity, there it goes again. And bring it back to noticing just how deeply relaxed you can allow yourself to be. Stay here for as long as feels comfortable, as long as you have. Letting my words wash over you if you wish to stay further. Or for those of you wanting to finish your practice, starting to bring your awareness to the support underneath you and how your body is supported in all the different places underneath you. Draw your awareness back into your full body and breathe into every cell from the tip of your toes, tip of your fingertips and the crown of your head. Inhale, expand, feel your cells expanding with that energy. Exhale, notice how the body softens and finds ease. Keep taking those deeper breaths in your own way. And then when you're ready, allow those breaths that to bring awakening movements into your body fingers and toes, head and neck, maybe drawing your knees in, giving them a hug, maybe rolling through your shoulders, maybe a completely different movement that feels natural and easy to you. Settling into that awareness of movement, bigger movements, to move through your spine, maybe, maybe roll your knees up to the ceiling and roll to one side if you're on your back. Taking your time, feeling into your body, really allowing your awareness to notice moment by moment. And then over the next few breaths, bringing yourself to a place that you want to finish your practice and maybe that's staying exactly as you are. Settling into whatever support you have underneath you. 
taking your hands in a gesture of closing, maybe simply thumbs and first fingers touching or palms over your heart or a prayer position or a hug. Take a big breath in, exhale, draw your chin down towards your chest and take a moment to notice your mind, your concerns, your heart, your emotions, and your physical body and sensation. And noticing as a whole, your whole self, how you feel after your practice. Take a breath of gratitude for taking this time. Exhale it out and acknowledge that you have taken an hour for yourself. Thank yourself for the effort. From my heart to yours, I thank all of you for being here. I appreciate you turning up and moving and sharing your practice. Have yourself a wonderful week. Take this awareness with you. 